Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. It is Tuesday. It is August 22nd. This will be our chart lesson for the day. And super strong trend up today. Uh, we've talked about this for a few, you know, a month really, a couple of months over the summer, how dead it was and how, you know, it'd probably come back in the fall like it always does. And sure enough, uh, the market's really come back now. So, Hopefully this will continue, and uh, but anyway, we got to take advantage of it while it's here. So hope you had a good trading day. But let's, uh, you can see it's all uphill. This was not very hard to find uh, if you just drew the trend line off the first couple of swings here. Uh, those were already formed really before we came in, before I came in, um, really about five o'clock I think. And originally I had it up here, but it was obvious um, it was down a little bit lower as the day progressed. So it didn't matter. This is the one you really needed. Uh, by the time you got to bounce off this midline, uh, it was pretty obvious where it was at uh, at that point. So uh, anyway, let's back out. We'll talk. We'll back out a little further. We'll talk about the trades. Uh, when I was coming in, we had this trend line. We had. We actually had one that worked up and you had a break outside and you hide and then we were working down and you get a break outside and you tried to go lower twice and it failed uh, and you of course you actually ha had this bounce off the trend line that confirmed it so that really confirmed that hey we're probably headed up and then you get the reversal pattern with a failed second entry short right here big reversal bar just go long right there and at this point you're really hoping it takes on off uh, it did but it came back one more time uh, that's what will happen a lot of times on a big move like that, uh, a, a nice entry like that. It'll come back and give you a second chance. Um, but notice what happens when we're working down. You get a first entry. Um, and then this is not a textbook second entry, but the fact that those are matching highs right there uh, never went lower, but you really get um, a matching high. So that still can be treated like a second entry long right there. And if you catch that one trade, it's off to the races and uh, you could ride this all the way up until we closed on almost the high of the day so really great opportunity to catch this trade right here um, and then of course we're moving up and at this point it looks like that we've um, you know we're headed for this again at this point I wasn't sure if this was up here but notice how we so I still had it up there I believe at that point and really what I want, what you needed to play here was to try to play the, um, what looks like a range. Actually, you got a little bit, it's, it, it actually starts out here. I moved it up, but really what happens is you get a failed break out the top and then it looks like you're going to head lower and it breaks out one more time and you get that, uh, um, you actually try to go to lower twice. And you get a nice reversal there. So I like going, and it's a lower high. It's a second entry. Look at the new high, pull back first entry, pull back second entry. It's very similar to this, except we actually get a lower high and a lower low right there. So it makes it a better entry. And we actually come back and test it one more time. Um, and you get a little breakout pull back long here. And you could treat that like a, um, Uh, failed second entry short because that's basically a double bottom. So first entry, so that, that, if it's a double bottom, you can treat it like a new low, and then first entry, second entry. So you really could argue to enter here. The only reason I didn't like that one is because by that time I wasn't sure if maybe the trend channel wasn't right there. Um, I still think it was down here. Like so. And, uh, and that doesn't leave you a lot of room right there. Notice how it turned down right off of it, too. So um, I just wasn't sure. But you could probably argue for that one to be green. This is a strong trend, and you just have to take what it'll give you. Um, it, it, you probably would have thought you were going to get stopped out. It, it tried to come back. But even, unless you got in a, little, a couple of ticks early here, this was like a four-tick failure or whatever, but it, it ends up going on up and working out he wouldn't have got stopped out um, but I think you were better off to wait and enter here when it comes back to the midline um, 
and notice what what that what happens there as well uh, this is almost the same entry again as we had right here and right here as you're coming down you get a first entry then you get that little matching double top so you could have argued entering here as well um, I only I, I, I just marked it here because this is the where I liked entering but this is really two times to come back and test this level right here and each time it got a little bit higher that's a good that's an even better sign so I like entering right there off the EMA midline and like I said, I actually passed this one over. This one, again, is that same pattern. You're moving down first entry, and then you get the matching two highs and a nice bullish bar. Uh, so really, you could argue for that one as well. And that one, the fact that that's a, um, the fact that that is a uh, repeat pattern, you could even make that blue. I just thought it was a little bit, congested there and we just came off the top and we weren't back to the midline or the lower line but uh, by this time this looks like a strong trend it's got all those little bars just keep going higher and higher and higher and higher so uh, I like that entry uh, you could argue for it to be green but I think you can argue for it to even be blue so I'm just gonna leave it blue but then we come back and uh, I like waiting here to enter and then of course you get that repeat pattern again um, and that's off the EMA and the the midline together so you got a little confluence there so really you could even argue for that to be blue but notice we didn't get back to the upper trend line and we're bouncing off this midline so but we were due to come back so that makes this a two-legged move almost so that's why another reason I like that one but if you weren't already in, you really could argue to enter right here because it's that repeat pattern. So I'm going to leave it green. Um, but you could argue for it to be blue. So and then you get a little lower high here that's off the trend line, but it's right into a double top now. And I definitely don't like that one. Uh, so if you didn't hear, catch one of these, you just have to kind of ride this out. You get a close outside, and you actually get two legs up to a new high. It comes back, and you get a first entry, and then it just starts going sideways here until you get that little drop lower. And this is an uptrend, so you figure we'll probably ride it back up. So I like going along there again. And then, of course, we're moving up. And you get a little bit of close. This is questionable if that's a good enough close outside. So it's really questionable if this is not the first break. Pull back first entry, pull back second entry. Again, right off the midline. Um, real small bar, real low risk. So I like taking that one second entry. Um, you're probably at least going to go back and, and try for a new high. And this thing just keeps going, pulls back again. This, of course, this is all after 2 o'clock, but... You could have ridden this up, and then once you started correcting here, I probably would have exited on any runners or whatever. So, yeah, it was really a, you know, I say this is an easy day, but what happens to most people is they get scared to enter because you're close to the highs, and, you know, you're, you've been locked into that. You know, if you go long right there, you're going to get burned, and you probably have gotten burned going long right there. But when you see a day like this where it's just almost, notice how everything is above the EMA all day long. We finally get one little push below right there. But otherwise, from the very open, nothing is closed below the EMA. Uh, the EMA is pointing straight up. Lots of little bars that just, with dojis in there, it just keep it, getting hot, higher and higher and the corrections are not very big that's a you just have to take what it'll give you on a day like this you're not going to get a lot of nice second entries um, with plenty of room to get out before the highs and and that kind of thing you, if it looks like it's tried to go lower twice you probably and especially if it's off the EMA or the midline or the trend line you better take it you can see even right here where it comes back to the uh, trend line and bounces again. You could have entered either one of those if it wasn't so late in the day. And that's the way these days work. And you'll see these same kind of trends to the downside. So um, 
when you see these trends just wait for an entry that looks close it's in the right spot in a key entry point and take it and that's really all you can do because otherwise if you sit there and wait on the perfect entry it never backs up or gives you one it just you know it, you'll get a little correction and then the buyers come roaring back in and it takes off again and that's what happens you get a little correction the buyers come in uh, you get a little correction buyers come in you get a little correction buyers come in a little correction buyers come in a little correction lots of buyers come back in a little correction buyers come in you, and then they're a little bit undecided Get that failed break lower, which is another little, this is just another correction here, and the buyers come back in. A little correction, the buyers come back in. Tiny correction, the buyers come back in. Another correction, kind of goes sideways a little bit, and then the buyers come back in. And that's the way these kind of days are, and it could be just the opposite, you know, a little, you could be trending down, and you get a little, uh, you get a little correction and the sellers come back again and then it shoots down and for a little ways and then you get a little correction and the sellers jump right back in again they they just look for a little bit of correction just any reason to, to find a new place to get in and you have to you just have to take what it'll give you so uh, but anyway I, uh, this is about as easy as it gets you really could have bought anywhere on any pullback and you didn't have to worry about it it just went higher again here it got a little bit choppy but again it takes off comes back takes off so it's always making higher lows really as long as you keep seeing that higher highs and higher lows and higher highs and higher lows uh you got to keep buying uh, it's only way to play it so but anyway um not much else i can say about today again you could argue for several of these others to be blue um we talked about why I made them green, but you could argue for every pullback to go long here today. You could even argue to enter right here. Uh, you got a little trend line working down. That's the first close outside, but you could still argue that, hey, you can go, you know, it's right off the EMA trend line together. Very tiny little bar there, so very low risk. You could argue to enter right there. I'll make it green since there's no... That's the first break outside the trend line, but you could argue to enter there. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. We'll be back again tomorrow. Hopefully the uh, the market's back and the volatility like this is back. It'd be nice to get several days of uh, moves like this, but we'll see what tomorrow brings. So I'm going to wrap it up. This is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.